Hi everybody, welcome to On the Glide Slope. I'd had a viewer request to um, fly uh, tutorials and uh, I asked what kind of tutorials might be interesting for simmers and somebody said flying a basic pattern, so that's what I'm gonna do today. A pattern basically has four legs to it, um, upwind, crosswind, downwind, and base. And if you're on final, then final is a, an additional way of talking about the last leg. Um, most patterns are flown left traffic, meaning you're left -hand, making left-hand turns um, from the runway and around the airport. If it's a right-hand pattern, it will say so on the chart with the letter R next to the uh, information on the runway uh, and the length of the runway, which will tell you that RP is right pattern. But we're here at Columbia Gorge Regional Airport, the Dalles, in uh, Washington State um, by the Columbia River, and we're going to fly a standard left pattern here on runway 31. A um, couple things to help us out. I've set the heading bug to 310, so that on my directional gyro I can see um, I can see exactly uh, where the final approach heading is going to be, and that'll help me make nice square turns on my pattern by having that heading bug at the different four cardinal points of the co compass. Um, I also know that there's a standard pattern altitude, which is in most airports is going to be uh, about a thousand feet above ground level. Sometimes it's 800, sometimes it's a thousand. Here at KDLS, it is a thousand. So the airport is at 1,200 feet. 1247 is at 247 feet pattern altitude is 1247 feet the chart or the information for the airport will tell you what that is and uh, there are speeds involved as well um, mostly when you're on final um, they want you to keep your pattern speed if you're in the pattern at 90 to 100 knots so that you're not slowing down airplanes behind you but once you begin your final approach then you need to hit the speeds which are appropriate for the downwind the base and the final leg of the airplane that you're in um, the pilot's operating handbook will tell you what those are, and I'll talk through them a little bit here in the Cessna 177 Cardinal um, from Carinato. But that's the general thing. So we're going to fly a quick pattern. I'll kind of just talk through it, and we're on our way. <coughs> so fuel pump on. Carb heat is off. Mixture is rich. Engines are in the green. I've got big clunky shoes on, so it's harder to steer with my feet. <laughs> I can't feel the pedals. Airspeed's alive. I've enjoyed learning standard patterns and, and procedures. Here we go, rotate. When I started simming, I, didn't, I wouldn't have known a standard pattern if it hit me in the face. Um, I have a good friend who's a pilot who taught me about that a little bit, and then of course in my real-world instruction I've learned the real thing. I find that it makes the sim more fun uh, if I'm doing what I do in the real world, and I hope this maybe helps other simmers who don't understand how patterns work be able to bring some of that to them as well. <coughs> okay, so we're flying runway heading, and we don't make any calls here. Of course on departure I would have made a call saying that we're departing and we'll be staying in the pattern. Uh, but we just took off. So we're flying up the Columbia River Gorge here. We're at a good climb speed. And at about 1,000 feet, maybe 900 feet, I'll make my turn on to crosswind. And I'll say that I'm turning for left traffic for 3-1. So I would say Dow's traffic. Uh, Cardinal 1-5 Julie Golf is turning crosswind left traffic for 3-1 uh, Dow's. Left crosswind is a more efficient way to say that. So we make a standard turn here. Again, I'm turning until my heading bug is now going to be at the 3 o'clock position for me, which is about here. It tells me now I'm flying a 90 degree angle to the field, which I am. And then one question is, how soon do you turn, uh, how soon do you turn um, onto downwind? And it's close enough that you could make the airport if your motor quit, so we'll do it now. Dallas traffic, Cardinal 1-5 Julia Golf is turning left downwind for 3-1. Dowels. Okay. So we're at about 1,200 feet. We need to come up a little bit to about 1,250 to be pattern altitude, but you're not going to suffer for a 50 feet margin. You don't want to be 100 feet out of the pattern. Uh, that will be bad for any other airplane that's expecting you to be where you're supposed to be. Okay. So now we're flying parallel to the runway. This is a good chance to talk about making a 45 degree entry. If you're coming from outside of the airport area, Generally accepted pattern entry is to come at a 45 degree angle to the downwind leg and then enter that way at pattern altitude. Then everyone knows where you'll be. In terms of judging how far away from the field to be, um, in the real world, 
usually you'd expect the field to be, the runway to be about halfway either up the strut, if this airplane had a strut, or halfway up the wing if it had a wing, and we're at about the right place. I might be a little far away, but we're okay. So we're flying our heading, which is the opposite of 3-1. We're at pattern altitude, and we're gonna fly this until we, as they say, are at the numbers, meaning we're at beam the number 3-1 here for our approach runway. At this point, we'll enter our descent procedure. So we'll turn on our landing lights. Now I've kept the gear down this whole time. Obviously we would put it down as we're coming into final. I'd turn on the carburetor heat, I'd kill the throttle, and I'd put in our first notch of flaps. Now we're gonna start trying to hit that approach speed, which for us is gonna be about 70. Now there's some hills here. I don't wanna to get too close to those. But the question of when do you turn on to base is a function of when the airport's about 45 degrees behind you. I don't want to fly into these hills, so I'm going to turn base a little early. So about now looks good. So I'd say Dow's traffic, Cardinal 15 Julie Golf is turning left base for 3-1, Dow's. Keep flying the airplane downhill. And we want to turn on to final about 500 feet above ground level. Making my turn. We're doing about 75 knots, which is about right. All right, next notch of flaps. I'm watching the runway. Now when I've used this trim wheel, it's caused the sim to crash sometimes, so I'm not trimming the airplane the way I normally should. But right here we should be doing about, we should be doing about 75, so I need to pitch down a little bit. We're good, 500, so we'll turn on to final. So I'd say Dow's traffic, Cardinal 1-5, Julia Golf is turning final for 3-1. We're a little lower than we would be turning to final, but again, I turned faster than I normally would have um, because of uh, those hills. Final flaps. And now we land the airplane. So gear is down, or uh, gas is to both. Gear is down, three in the green, mixture is rich, prop is full. Now in final, I'm looking for my landing point which is the black strips there, basically. And I don't want my landing point to be moving either visually further away or closer to me. That means I'm on the right slope for it. We're gonna come over the fence right about 65, which is about right. And we'll color our throttle. Be in our flare. And there we go. So basic traffic pattern. Again, this was left traffic. If we were doing light, right traffic, the uh, chart would tell us to do right traffic. And it was all pretty standard, except for the fact that I um, made the turn onto base a little sooner than I would because I didn't want to come too close to that terrain. In the real world now, we would exit and then let people know we were off the runway and then clean up the airplane, which I'll do in a second. So I hope that's helpful. Um, there's an awful lot you can learn about this stuff. Uh, in particular, if you go to Pilot Edge and you even just watch their videos for their V1 rating and their V2 rating, it gives a lot of information of uh, how to fly a standard pattern and what to do, which I think would be helpful to almost anybody who wants to learn more about this stuff in the real world. Um, final word, uh, this part of the world is cool. The Orbic scenery is great. Uh, and I think the sim might have just crashed for some reason. It I don't know what's going on, but we're still recording, so that's good news. Yeah, something just happened. Look at that. Perfect timing. Well, I'll have to check into that. Um, we don't hide our warts here at On the Glide Slope. We play it straight. So I'll look into what that problem was, and uh, we'll figure it out. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed the standard pattern, and uh, thank God that happened after we had landed safely. Otherwise, our crash didn't cause a crash. Um, thanks for the comments. Uh, feel free to ask any others that you have questions. I'll answer them in the comments as fast as I can. And you can learn more about the sim at www.onthegliadeslope.net. Thanks.